everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Yes, my crafty space is always this clean. And I'll share with you the one thing I did that makes it all possible. Stay tuned. Welcome. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and I hope that you'll stick around because I am going to share the one organization tip that has made all of the difference in my crafty day. When I come in in the morning, this is what I come into because this is how I left it the day before. And it doesn't take a whole lot. It's a, it's a very simple process that I adopted in June of 2020 that has worked wonders for me. I craft a lot, so I need some type of organization and I need to be able to find what it is I'm looking for when I need it. it. Wasn't always the case. I won't say that I had an extremely messy craft space, but I didn't have it as organized as I wanted. And there would be some days where I'd walk in and I'd see the clutter that I left the day before, I'd see clutter that had built up over two or three days and it would just kill my crafty mojo. And I'm sure some of you are like me. I am not a perfectionist, but when things are so disorganized and in such a state of disarray, I really can't function. I just shut down because I can't figure out what it is I need to tackle first. In 2020, I decided to go all in on organization and keeping my crafty space clean. And at some point, I'll give you the whole look of my crafty space. So in this space, I film my intro videos. And this is the space in which I tend to create and I make my prototype and I work on some of the ideas that I might have sketched out or written out in my little book here. In order for me to do all of the things that I need to do to bring you guys an awesome craft video, I need it to be organized. So be on the lookout for a future video in which I'm going to share with you my whole studio and I'll give you guys an overview of some of my organization tips and techniques. But in this video, I'm going to share with you the one organization tip that I adopted that makes it possible for my crafty space to always be like this. You all know what time it is. It's time to get started. Here is the real secret to how I stay organized. I use this rolly cart system. I have three of these rolling carts. Recently, I found these containers at the Dollar Tree and they are very sturdy. When I saw these clear containers with the handle and the top. I thought it would be pretty neat to have in case I wanted to just cart this around someplace. So I keep everything that I'm going to need in the way of tools in this box. Then I have the six drawer rolling cart system. So I'm going to swing my camera around just a minute because I want to show you the second part of this process. So what I do right here is I have these drawers and in these clear drawers, I keep the seasonal 12 by 12 papers on which I'm working. And on top, I have the cut aparts for that season. So what I do is I'll bring in a whole bunch of papers for the Valentine's season. I have two cubbies over here that are devoted to Valentine's. Right now I have my Christmas papers in those cubbies but I will be rotating those papers out and I'll be bringing in my Easter, my 4th of July and my birthday so that when I start crafting for those seasons, I'll have the papers already over here and in the other cubby. So this is a system that is working for me. There's no need for me to go out searching my paper collection for papers because I've already pulled in some of the papers that I would like to work with for that season. I don't have all of my Valentine's papers in here, but I have enough Valentine's papers in here for me to start using. I got these clear containers from scrapbook.com. I will check to see if they have them on Amazon. I really don't know. And these drawers are a new addition to my crafty space. You guys know that I do use some plastic trays that are stackable for 12 by 12 papers. But on Black Friday of last year, scrapbook.com I had these on a Black Friday sale. I think it might have been $22.99 for a set of three drawers that will hold 12 by 12 paper. So I ended up getting, I think I got six of them. 
and it just works out beautifully for how I want to keep my crafty area. This is how I work in this space as it pertains to my papers. I keep the papers for the season in which I'm crafting at arm's length so I can turn around and just pull out the papers that I might want to use in that day's craft. So let's have a look at this rolly cart. So basically when I am crafting a season, I roll that season's cart in and I match it with the papers that I just showed you. And that's how I work my project. So I have one of the three carts that's dedicated to Christmas. One of the three carts is dedicated to Valentine's Day and birthdays. The third cart is dedicated to the other holidays that I craft, such as Easter, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, a little bit of Halloween, and so on. But here's how this works for me. So in each one of my cubbies, I'll have a type of item. So in this box, I have a few crafty items that I might pull into using on a craft or in a craft, such as my pencils. Then I have some little paper dolls on the inside. All of those might make an appearance in some of the crafts that I'm doing. Then here I have a whole bunch of just loose stickers. These are not the stickers that I have in my sticker book. These are just a whole bunch of loose stickers that I might have picked up from Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree, Michaels, Target, just a whole bunch of sticker embellishments that I can use on my projects. And in this one, I have a whole bunch of flowers and these are Anna Griffin flowers that I have separated by color so that I can use them when I'm crafting for Valentine's Day, birthdays, or even weddings. And then here I have some Valentine sentiments and some doilies. So you can see that all of this is themed mainly for Valentine's Day, but here in the bottom, I have a whole drawer of birthday whatnot, stickers, ephemera, embellishments, sentiments, all types of goodies that are used for birthday making. I love the system and how it works, but here is the key to how I stay organized at the end of the day and throughout the day. I keep an empty container so that when I am finished crafting for the day, I'll take whatever I'm working on that I might need to work on the next day and I'll place it in this box. Or even if I'm finished, but I don't feel like putting everything away right now, I'll place it in this box just so that it's not out. Then when I come in the next day, I'll put what I don't need away. Y'all, it might seem so simple, but it has actually worked and it's worked wonders for me in keeping my area clean. You guys see it every day. There is no way that I could be crafting and cleaning the space like this every day because I have adopted this system. And a lot of you will notice on camera that at certain points, you might see me start to clean up just a little bit. And that's because I will stop halfway through filming to clean, to discard, to put away things that I know I don't need anymore for the video. And for my crafting, I truly have adopted the clean as you go method. And it works for me. And this box works for me. This is not meant to be an out of sight, out of mind box. This top shelf to me represents one of two things. Either I have filled it with an incomplete project that I'm working on that I'll work on again the next day, or I have filled it with all the things that I needed to put away or recatalog and didn't feel like doing it before I went home. But when I come in the next day, I'll go ahead and put everything away so I can start a fresh, new, crafty day. See, I'm a poet, didn't even know it. Now, I know that my rolling cart system might not be for everyone, but for some of you, this might actually work. And even if you don't adopt this system, what I would recommend is that instead of sorting your papers by color, with the exception of your cardstock, but if you have decorative papers, instead of sorting them by color, sort them by season, sort them by style. So if you have a whole bunch of florals, sort those florals together. If you have your Valentine's, your Christmas, your Thanksgiving, sort those separately so that you can get in the habit of crafting by season 
and that'll take you one step closer to being even more organized than you might be today. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed my little rolling cart system and the one way that I managed to stay organized. If you have, please hit the like button. You are not a subscriber to my channel. I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.